In this problem, we're told the driver notices that our 1080 kilogram car slows down from 95 kilometers per hour to 65 kilometers per hour in about seven seconds on the level when it is in neutral. Approximately what power in watts and horsepower is needed to keep the car traveling at constant 80 kilometers per hour? So before we solve, let's write down what we're given. So we're given two different velocities and I'm gonna call the initial velocity V sub one and then the one at the end V sub two. So we know that V sub one right in the beginning is 95 kilometers per hour and then v sub 2 is 95 kilometers per hour so these right here are two different velocities and so we're trying to solve for it in this problem we're trying to find power so you can find power by taking or this is the formula for it work over time so if you have work and you divide it by the amount of time it takes uh, what you can do is find power so they tell us that right so the car starts here for seven seconds and then it goes here, right? And so we have the initial velocity here and then here, right? So 95 here and 65 here, and then it's gonna take seven seconds. So the time is gonna be seven seconds. So what we need to do here is solve for the work. So we need to find the work. And so before we solve for the work, let's go ahead and convert these into meters per second first. So if you wanna convert these into meters per second, we know 95 kilometers per hour. So 95 kilometers for one hour. Uh, if you take, if you multiply by a thousand, right, because there's a thousand meters in one kilometer, that's going to go ahead and give it to you in meters, and then we need to get rid of the hour. So there's one hour, one hour for every 3,600 seconds, right? 60 seconds in a minute, 60 second, uh, 60 minutes in an hour. So if you multiply 95 times 1,000 divided by 3,600, that's going to go ahead and give you it in meters per second. So if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get it, or you're going to get that it's equal to 26.39 meters per second. So 26.39 meters per second, that's gonna be 95 kilometers per hour. So let me erase this and then I'll write it down. So 26.39 meters per second. So that's gonna be that. And so I'm not gonna show you how to do this one. I'm just gonna give you the number because you should know how to convert or conversion factors by now, but essentially 65 kilometers per hour is 18.06 meters per second. So 26.39 meters per second and 18.06 meters per second. So that's gonna be that. And so now what we wanna do is uh, solve for work. So the way we're gonna do this is you need to know that work is equal to the change in kinetic energy, right? So the change in kinetic energy, if we go ahead and find that, what we're gonna be able to do is solve for work, right? Because the change in kinetic energy is work. So how do we solve for the change in kinetic energy? So you need to know that kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared. And so the way we can solve for the change in it is just by plugging in one half or well, right, this is so this is going to solve for the kinetic energy at some point. So if we take the kinetic energy at point one, right? So imagine this is the point in the beginning and then seven seconds later, it's here. So if we take the kinetic energy here, right, at point two, and then subtract it from point one, that's going to be the change in it, right? So uh, that's how we're going to do it. So essentially what we want to do is do one half mv2 squared minus one half mv1 squared, right? So the kinetic energy at the last point here minus the kinetic energy at the beginning point. That's going to give us the change. So this is going to be equal to the change in kinetic energy or the work, right? So I'm gonna move this uh, equation a bit more. So I'm just gonna take out the one half m, and then it's just gonna be v2 squared minus v1 squared. So this right here is gonna be the equation. So if you just do one half m times v2 squared minus v1 squared, that's gonna give you this right here. So it's gonna be equal to one half times the mass. And so they give us the mass of the car. It's 1,080 kilograms, and then v2 minus v1. So v2 is 18.06 squared minus and I'm, i don't have enough room so i'm just gonna write it right here so 26.39 squared so yeah go ahead and do that so one half times 1080 and then 18.06 squared minus 26.39 squared so if you go ahead and do this you're gonna get the work right because the change of kinetic energy is the work so if you do this you're gonna get minus 1.999 times 10 to the 5 joules. So this is going to be your work. And so now that we have the work, we can just plug it in and solve for power, right? So power equals the work, which we just solved for here, minus 
nine nine times ten to the five joules over the time which it took seven seconds so make sure it's in joules and seconds and so if you do this minus 1.999 times 10 to the 5 divided by 7 you're going to get 2.856 times 10 to the 4 so 2.856 times 10 to the 4 uh, and this is going to be measured in watts so 2.856 times 10 to the 4 or 2.856 times 10 to the 4 watts that's going to be in that but we also have to find it in horsepower so the way we do that is by taking it in watts and so you need to know that for every one horsepower there's 746 watts right so if we take it in watts and we divide by 746 that's going to give it in horsepower right so just take 2.856 times 10 to the 4 divided by 746 and you're going to get that equals uh 38.29 horsepower so 38.29 uh, you can round it just to 38, so 38 horsepower. That's going to be in horsepower, 2.856 times 10 to the 4 in watts. So these right here are your two answers. So those are going to be your answers. And so, yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.